Hey, what's happening, y'all? It's me coming back at you again with a quick vid. Uh, first things first, I want to give a shout out to Hamed. He passed along this information, which is breaking news. So it appears that not only Luis Ortiz has turned down or ducked out of the Philip Herkovic uh, elimination fight with the IBF. Uh, it also turns out that Joseph Parker, who was offered the fight, has turned down the uh, Herkovich fight as well. So, um, this is uh, according to Dan Raphael, who, by the way, was the same guy who broke the story about Luis Ortiz turning down the fight. Um, what is the reason behind the fact that Joseph Parker turned the fight down? We don't know. Um, what we do know is that Ortiz's manager came out and said that they can't take the Herkovich fight, Herkovich fight due to a hand injury. Which, you know, you can deem that a suspect because Luis Ortiz not too long ago said that, you know, he'll fight anybody uh, as long as he's in a good position to get a title shot, which I don't see that's the case because he's up in age, especially, you know, he's around, you know, he's 42 or, you know, if you want to, however you want to take it, he's older than that. That's up to you. You can come to your own conclusion on that. But uh, the fact is, is that he's only be fighting for money right now. And... Um, as far as Parker's concerned, um, I think he's highly rated by the uh, WBO, so he might be pursuing that route and fight Joe Joyce for a higher purse instead of fighting Herkovich. And I was listening to an uploader about this, and he made a good point. You know, because there's a lot, there's a handful of guys who's turned down the Herkovich fight. You had Charles Martin, you had Michael Hunter, you had Luis Ortiz, not once but twice. Um, and now, in this case, you got Joseph Parker. You're wondering why is it no way want to fight this guy because as far as i know yes he is a tall and you know he's a dangerous guy but he's not anything special to me he doesn't come off to me as a guy who's very fearful from i don't get it and i think part of the reason why he can't get the fights or any eddie heron or silence who promote co-promote the guy i think part of the reason why they can't get him any fight nobody want to get anybody to get in the ring with him because they're offering very very little persons to fight him like, for example, Luis Ortiz and Joe Joyce. I mean, these guys are making million, you know, close to million dollar plus purses per fight. And yet you guys want to offer them like less than that, you know, or half of that, you know, half of that just to fight Herkovich. No, nah, that's not going to be going to got to do better than that as far as the promoters is concerned. So um, at this point, the IBF just might as well automatically install Herkovich, Herkovich as the uh, mandatory challenger, although he hasn't fought anyone to get into that position. But it is what it is, you know, so. Um, the one thing also I got to point out is that all the channels that went at Luis Ortiz for ducking the Herkovich right, and rightly so, I want to see them do the same thing for Joseph Parker. I know the reason why they did what they did is because they want to do whatever they can to slander anything or anybody who's attached to Deontay Wilder's name, that, and that's Luis Ortiz. So um, I'd like to see them go at Joseph Parker for ducking the fight. Um, so, you know, at the end of the day, I'm looking for consistency and fairness across the board. So, um, that's all I'm asking for. Anyways, let me know what you get thoughts about this. I'll drop a link below to the sources, which is, uh, well, one source, which is Dan Raphael. So, let me know what your thoughts about this. Uh, what should Herkovich do? I'm out. Peace.